Eastern Time was the scheduled launch, and we are coming up to 49 minutes after the hour. Just two minutes from the opening of the window, and correspondent Tony Clark is covering the story. Morning, Tony. Morning, Bob. Morning, Donna. In fact, uh, the launch is going very smoothly, the launch countdown. Right now, it's less than two minutes before the launch. In fact, if we can take a look at a uh, live shot of the shuttle, there we're looking at the window. Tom Hendricks, you can see in the window. Tom uh, comes in and out of frame there. He is the pilot of the, uh, the shuttle. It is uh, Hendricks' second flight. There is a seven-member crew on board Columbia. This is the 14th flight of that shuttle. It is the oldest in the shuttle fleet. 54 shuttle missions, uh, this, uh, this marks the 54th, 53 up to now. It is known as D-2, that is for the German, it is the second German uh, space lab mission, D for Deutschland, the German uh, word for, for Germany. Germany is paying $560 million for this uh, round-the-clock space lab mission. It is uh, their second, their first one was done in 1985, and they had planned a second one for 1988, but because of the Challenger disaster, uh, they, that mission was canceled. They had also planned to have a third Space Lab mission, but that also is being canceled because of the high cost of reunification for Germany. This is a nine-day mission. There are seven astronauts on board. Two of those astronauts are German astronauts. They will be heading up the experiments and the small bus size uh, space lab module seconds, that is in the uh, in the payload bay the they will be working around the clock in in two teams let's listen in to the final seconds, seconds of the countdown 20. columbia's vent doors are configured for launch t minus 15 and we're coming up on a go for main engine start 10 genesis go for main engine start seven six five four and we have a main engine shutdown at T-minus three seconds. We have a redundant set launch sequencer aboard. And Columbia is now being saved. Obviously a problem on board uh, with the shuttle Columbia. Everything had gone smoothly up to this point, but uh, just as the engines were getting ready to... Uh, to fire, they shut down. Let's listen in for just a moment. What we're seeing right now is the, the retractable arm coming back so that the crew can get uh, get out of the shuttle. You can see the uh, shuttle hatch right there. Let's listen in for just a second. The engines are safe, and Columbia is being placed in a safe configuration. No MPS fire detectors are tripped at this time. Copy. That is launch director Bob Seek there in the middle. Shut down the APUs. And CMTL and C-Log verify lock speed path is established. CMTL. Lock speed path. Copy. CMTS uh, start LH2 copying. MTS copy. GLS primary safing is complete and we're go for transition to G9. Copy and what about your fire detectors, uh, GLS? We have none tripped. Okay, MTL fire detectors. OTC, PLT, APUs are shut down. Copy. NPL fire detectors. No fire detectors indicated. Copy. And NPL reports water deluge status. CMTL, NTD, step 32, your water deluge status. Uh, water is flowing at this time. And that's uh, heat shield. As we feel water is on, uh, copy, HTD, step 33, and HTD and CLHY report leak detector status. Leak detector status is nominal, and, uh, and step 34 and 35 are good. The tank has been attended. Uh, copy, and HTD, your leak detector status. Nominal, looks nominal at this time. Okay, and CLHY, your leak detector status. CLHY, NTD. LHY, and verify leak, de leak detectors are good. Uh, copy, step 36, CGSS, OAA extended and locked. CGSS can verify the OAA is extended. Uh, copy, step 37. All personnel go to page 931 for the post abort safety checks. Columbia's pilot Tom Columbia. Henricks has Correct. confirmed that the auxiliary power down. units are shut down, and Al Sopsi has just confirmed that the orbiter access arm is now back in place next to Columbia. Understand. SP, copy that. SP, copy. 
main engine engineers are, con are confirming that they see no leaks around the main engines and that they feel the vehicle is in a safe configuration. GPS verified, pulling and telemetry. CCME. CCME verified. SME. SME verified, four and five. CMPL. CMPL verified, six and seven. CLHY. LHY verified, eight, nine, ten. CLOC. CLOC verified, eleven, twelve. HGD. HGD, NTD. We're looking at it at this time. CGSF. CSF verifies 14. APU. APU verifies 15. CBH Web. CBH Y verifies 16. EPD. EPD verifies 17 and 18. Double OF. Double OF verifies 19. CBRF. CRF 20. HGD, do you have a status? Standby. Abort safety checks are complete. Proceed to recycle control sequence, sequence 18, page 1031. And when you get a status HGD break in. Okay, sequence 18, page uh, 1032. DLS safety has started. Flight, MTD. MTD flight. Perform your recycle. Then where? If you CDR, CDR, go ahead. Yes, sir. Reconfigure heaters. Roger, reconfiguring heaters at this time. LTC, CDR, heater reconfig complete. NTD copy. Copy that. And CDR on panel F7. Flight control or power switch off. go ahead. Yeah, on panel F7, flight controller. Power what we're seeing right now is the uh, shuttle on the pad. Just a few seconds before the uh, scheduled launch, the engines began the, uh, the initial firing and uh, then shut down. No word yet on exactly what caused the automatic shutdown. Right now, NASA engineers are going through the shutdown and safing procedures. Right there, you're seeing a picture of the uh, entry arm. It was moved back towards the uh, shuttle's hatch so that the astronaut could uh, leave the shuttle when everything is safe. Right now, engineers uh, at the Kennedy Space Center say they have the, uh, the shuttle safe, and what they're doing is going through the process of turning off all of the various switches. Again, no indication as to exactly what caused the shutdown of the, uh, the engines on board the shuttle Columbia. This is the oldest space shuttle in the fleet. It was making its plan to make its 14th flight on this, a German space lab mission. No indication also of what the delay may be in this. This uh, shuttle mission is already uh, a, a, almost a month behind schedule. It was supposed to be launched around the 25th of February, but there was a question about some of the parts on the, uh, the shuttle, and that caused a delay. Then there was a hydraulic line that uh, burst, and that caused another delay. And then there was a scheduling problem with an unmanned rocket uh, launch, and that caused another delay. If uh, this shuttle could not be launched tomorrow, engineer said yesterday, by, by tomorrow, then there would be at least a one-week delay, and that uh, creates another problem. There is another shuttle discovery that's set to launch on uh, April the 7th. And so there's some question about whether or not uh, this mission uh, will go for some time. So right now there are a lot of questions and, and not many answers. Uh, Germany had been hoping to do this uh, shuttle mission in, uh, in 1985. Uh, was their first mission. They had planned to do this one in 1988, uh, but that was delayed by the Challenger. So, as I say, more questions, and we will be back with more of the uh, Shuttle Columbia's launch attempt and what went wrong after this. <laughs>